Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Monday, August 19th. After the stock slide on Thursday, the markets did stabilize on Friday, did end up being negative, but held their ground. 1651 was a close in the E-mini S&P down four and three quarters. The high was 1662 and the low was 1649 and a half on the session after the percent and a half slide that we saw on Thursday. The Dow was down 32, 15,038, had a tight 85 point range. The Nasdaq was down one point and was the least of the losers down one and a half percent for the week. The dollar index was up 9, 81.29, and the euro currency was down 12, 133.37. The euro had a 69 point range and unchanged for the week. Look at the bond market. Bonds had a big move to the downside, broke through that support, new relative lows. 131.01 was the close, down 101. 137.17 was a low, so we're seeing a spike in yields on those treasuries. Crude oil was steady, up 10 cents, 107.30. 107.95 was a high, 106.40 was a low. Crude gained $1.50 on the week last week. And gold also held its ground, up another $10 at uh, $13.71, up $10, gained $59 on the week after it broke above that $13.50 level. So after the stabilization day on Friday, where do the markets stand on this Monday morning to begin a new trading week? Well, right now we're unchanged in the E-mini S&P, $16.51. The E-mini S&P lost 2% last week, so had, a, had quite a tumble. It'll be interesting to see how it finds support and comes back this week. $16.80 is the pivot point resistance up above to keep an eye on. The Dow is down two right now, 15,036, and we've got the NASDAQ up two and three quarters at 3,072 and a half. Right now, the dollar index is down seven, and we've got the euro currency up 25. Again, the euro currency was unchanged on the week last week, so looking to find some directions from here. The bond market continues to drift lower. We're at 130.20, down 13. The yield on the 30-year treasury is at 3.88%, and the yield on the 10-year note is at 2.87, so it's pushed above that 2.8%, which was the halfway yield, the halfway resistance, actually, uh, for the last five years. So we'll keep an eye on that as a pivot point from here on out. Crude oil is off a little bit, 106.82, down 47. Friday's low is 106.40. We we'll want to keep an eye on that. Crude oil added $1.50 last week. And gold right now is up another $2 at $13.73. $13.84 was a high overnight. And again, $13.50 should be the support down below because that was the breakout area. So to wrap up the current action, with two hours to go before the stock market open, we're steady. We're at $16.51, unchanged in the E-mini S&P. We're down two points, 15036 in the Dow futures. I will see you early Tuesday morning for the Morning Market Stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.